Pi Network Mainnet Lockup explained. With the coin being launched in 2018, we are finally seeing some genuine development. With the rumors of Pi Network Mainnet and Lockup reward system this large number of things have made the cryptocurrency even more interesting than previously. This multitude of signs mean that one day you would have the option to pull out your Pi for genuine money. Welcome viewers to Pianta Crypto. Here we bring you the latest updates on cryptocurrencies. Please hit the subscription button, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. In this video we are going to discuss Pine Network updates we have some uplifting news at people mining costs stay tuned. Recently the Pine Network has uncovered some updates about their mainnet. For those of you who don't know mainnet is the term for the genuine Bitcoin blockchain and network. And is utilized in contrast with testnet, signet, and red test networks. Unlike different networks which are utilized for testing mainnet coins BTC have a monetary worth. When people allude to the Bitcoin network they're normally referring to the mainnet. Here is a summary of how the mainnet will function you may lock up a part of your transferable hello in the wake of passing KYC to mine future pi at a more prominent rate. The mining help is determined by the quantity of locked up pi in the time of the lockup. The initial transfer to the mainnet happens when the mainnet begins for the individuals who have previously been KYC approved. More mined pi will become transferable once the reference team security circle passes KYC and crisp mining happens. The lockup configuration may be changed whenever, and the changes will be applied to the next transfer. Once pi has been locked it cannot be unlocked until the conclusion of the semester. Because the lockup amount is calculated as a percentage of your transferred balance you will need to lock up the same proportion of your new transferred worth to keep your lockup mining bonus. This is simply accomplished by maintaining a constant lockup configuration option for each repeating transferred to mainnet. There will be two kinds of balance put away on mainnet locked balance and free balance. Both will be saved to the mainnet and shown in the Pi wallet. Economic model The lack of remuneration on mainnet is intended to ensure a solid and seamless ecosystem and to incentivize long-term involvement with the network as the network bootstraps the economy and creates demands. It is an important decentralized macroeconomic mechanism to moderate circulating supply in the market. Especially in the early long periods of the open market when utilities are being created. One essential objective of the Pi Network is to fabricate a utility-based app ecosystem. Transactions in the ecosystem for genuine labor and products rather than speculative trading are meant to assess Pi's utility. As we begin the enclosed network phase of the mainnet one of our primary objectives will be to aid construct the Pi app developer community. Just as to encourage the development of more Pi apps. Meanwhile pioneers cannot to lock up their pride to help build up a steady market environment for the ecosystem to prosper more Pi apps to emerge in compelling use cases for spending Pi. Ultimately creating organic demand for utilities. Locking up Pi The Pi Network lockup formula is LB rises to LGLP log and BLP is the lockup percentage multiplier of B where the lockup percentage is the lockup amount over the main at balance transferred from 1S previous mining rewards LB and the lockup percentage multiplier is as per the following. 0% means LP is equivalent to 0. 25% means LP is equivalent to 0 0.25. 50% means LP is equivalent to 0.59% means LP is equivalent to 0.9. 100% means LP is equivalent to 1. Now 150% means LP is equivalent to 1.5. 200% means LP is equivalent to 2. Pioneers will actually want to willingly lock up their pride to gain the privilege to mine at a higher rate. Most importantly the pioneer must be actively mining to receive the lockup remuneration there will be no lack of incentives for any inactive mining sessions even on the off chance that Pi locked up because there will be no mining in any case. As expressed in the calculation over the lockup does nothing more than add multipliers to B hence there will be no lockup incentives if B0 which means the pioneers has not minding next the lockup incentive is connected with the contribution to the lockup are you the length of the lockup period LG and the amount locked up. The lockup amount on the other hand is calculated as a percentage of the pioneer's complete pi mined LP the maximum pi to pioneer can lock up is twice their main at balance LB that was transferred from past mining by means of the mobile app 1E 200% LB thus the formula logarithmically multiplies the number of prior mining sessions and for example assuming a pioneer mined nearly each day throughout the previous three years their complete previous mining sessions end would associate. 
with 1000 in this case log 1000 equivalents 3 which adds another multiplier to B's lockup for grants keep in mind that the amount of pi you must lock up to get meaningful lockup remunerations for long mining history pioneers is much higher than for smaller accounts the objective for having a twofold maximum lockout amount of one's transferred main at balance LB is to keep away from lockup reward exploitation and to encourage additional contributions to the pi ecosystem such as mining Running nodes and using apps in some ways this benefits pioneers who mine and contribute to the network in alternate ways. Pioneers can likewise have many lockups at different periods with varying amounts and durations the all-out lack of remuneration multiplier of B is represented in the formula LB rises to some LGXLCX sign and LBXB is utilized to calculate the complete lack of grants for this pioneer with I number of separate lockups the formula beneath is comparable to the lockup remuneration formula above with the only change being that it considers numerous lockups of the same pioneer. To calculate their complete lockdown rewards e.g. different durations LTI and quantities LCI of each lockup at a different time the objective of this formula is to determine the absolute lack of remunerations in light of the mean normal of each lockup's esteem LC over the complete Maynard balance from prior mining LB multiplied by their lockup period LG and sign and therefore even assuming there are numerous lockups of the same pioneer more lockups with different settings will contribute to their general lockup prices proportionately finally when is it possible for a pioneer